Lemon drops, the shots that were all the rage in college. We've grown up and so have they. Let me introduce you to the lemon drop martini. Hi everyone, welcome to today's episode of Let's Celebrate TV. I'm your host, Peter Lee. On this channel, we teach you all about celebrating. We share recipes for food, hors d'oeuvres, cocktails, and we share entertaining tips too. Now we try and keep this all very simple, especially for those of you out there who say that you just can't cook or entertain, because we know you really can. So if you like this episode, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and watch a new episode every single week. Today, well you see, here we are back in the mountains of upstate Pennsylvania, and bear with us, it's a little windy today, so there might be some extra noise, and there might be a stray bird or a golf cart going by, so we'll do our best to film through this. We're getting ready to have a little celebration later, and Phil and I are famous for our Cosmos, and maybe you've seen our Cosmo episode. But I'm getting kind of tired of Cosmos, so today we're going to make a lemon drop. So let's get started. Now you may remember lemon drops from the 80s or 90s or your college days, and they were a shot. Well, we're a little grown up now, so we're making a cocktail out of it. We're gonna start, we have our chilled glass with ice and water nice and chilled down. So we're gonna put this aside, just let it sit there and chill. We're gonna be rimming this gla glass with sugar. So here I have some sugar that I zested some lemon into it and then I just stirred it around. It, it's about a half a cup of sugar and the zest of a whole lemon. And I just stirred it up, let it sit in the bowl, and now it's out on this little plate. Now that's gonna just enhance the lemon flavor. Let's put that aside. We're gonna dump this out, our nice chill glass. We're going to take a wedge of lemon and we're gonna rim it all over the edge of the glass, all over the rim. Again, this is going to enhance that lemon flavor. And now we're going to dip it into the sugar. So simple. Just like that. Very easy. So we're gonna put this aside and get rid of this. Now let's mix our cocktail. As always, our nice shaker and some ice with my impeccably clean hands. A little more. Alrighty. We're gonna start with citron flavored vodka, or lemon vodka if you like. This is the kind that I like. Again, all enhancing that citrusy, lemony flavor. Two ounces. Right in the shaker. One. Two. Maybe generous two ounces. Triple sec is next. Again, it's an orange flavored, but it's citrusy, so it's going to help bring all of it together. Three quarters of an ounce. So let's kind of eyeball that in our little ounce shaker here. That's about good. Simple so far. And speaking of simple, simple syrup is next. Now this is just equal parts of sugar and water that I heated up until the sugar melted, and now I just keep it in the fridge. We're gonna use a half an ounce. Again, I'll just kind of eyeball it in here. And again, the simple syrup also helps bring it all together. Now the final ingredient, I always tell you, fresh lemon juice. Always use freshly squeezed. Don't use the bottle stuff, unless you absolutely have to. But fresh is best. So we need an ounce and a half. That's the big size of my shaker, of my little jigger here. Right in. Now for the best part, or the fun part, the shaky shaky. Here we go. All right, here we go. Into our cocktail glass. Look at that. 
Now this is a nice, bright, summery drink for a beautiful day like this. Let's give it a taste because you know that's my favorite part. Uh, the sacrifices I make for my viewers. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Tart, lemony, and a little sweet from the sugared glass and simple syrup. And really, you get that first hit of lemon right from the beginning, from that lemon sugar on the rim of the glass. All right, as always, I'm going to have this recipe up in the comment section like we always do. We love hearing from you, so keep sending in your comments and your questions and pictures. We love seeing those pictures of what you eat and make for us, and we always respond to everything, so keep it coming. So I will see you next Tuesday, 7 p.m., because you're all invited to come on over, come on in, and let's celebrate. Cheers.